So I will show you how is it done. The, the JavaScript part has to be uh, to to divide it like how we build this JavaScript file, the the static JS files. So it has a lot of JS files. You see, see the the uh, JavaScript maps, uh, maps JS file, map JavaScript files, and then this is the OSM OSM JavaScript files. How we call it? Or completely independent OSS file call. So you divide your code. You skip file, JavaScript file. This call is JavaScript file into the your your, your HTML phase and replace JS JavaScript file. So this is it's a very standard. I will show you how is it then how is it affected or how is it called somehow. So yeah. So this is the map view phase. So your coordinate points. Now this is the OSM maps. So. And here is the, we see the, the interactions and see the definition of the call and then our service call. We what we did in the service call level and then did the definition of the OSM and 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 that's now depending on the which front end library, which JavaScript library you try to use it there. So so let's have a try to to map view HTML JavaScript. So this is our view server. And definition so all the respective communication and the controls oh I didn't show you how is it control is done so if he is there so you can even though you can do the control uh, you can record it to your own own coordinates points so it's is a way like you can try to polygon it like I mean that one so that's that's you can store it even though if you are more interested you can store this in polygon geometry into the database level uh, depending on how is it or even though it can build it points, point like this. That's that's the that's the control. Uh, this is the basic vector layers. You can uh, we create the basic vector layers and then add it to the basic vector layer into the maps. And after that, we can zoom in, zoom out. And this is the our editor vectors. The uh, the vector layers we need to edit toolbars. To edit toolbars means this is the toolbar is limit. Even though you can pan in, pan out, and you can go to this pan in, pan out. So it works. It's it's it really works. Yeah. And then, so that's the, our definition: the server map server call, map controller calls, and then uh, what I would like to show you. Uh, what's the? Oh, okay. So here is the our <coughs> our complete independent. That's I said. But this case, we we put it our JavaScript file into the into the maps into the into the HTML page like here into the HTML page so completely your JavaScript into the uh, HTML page or here you complete JavaScript into the HTML page even though here in the JavaScript into the HTML page that's 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 some people can do it or, or even though that case I do I did it but even though we can just copy this script this part of the this part of the code you build your script in the in the in the, in the build a JS file and call it this JS file into the your HTML page so here is look like here is a, here is your JSQ definition, your your coordinate systems, and then we put it here the, our <coughs> our central coordinates and then vector layers and the transformations and default settings and here the most important part. So you need to be carefully close it. So here we we did uh, some some hard coded example. So like see how it works. So we define our coordinates points. We did define our coordinates points. What we need because you see that it's a different structure than what we in the in the in the HTML form had in the into the your models. But it's, it's in, in the because we are in the in the browser level. So browser would like to see the information longitude, comma latitude, and then this is the list of information. So polygon. So we define a polygon. This is the polygon you can show. I, I believe this is the polygon you you show here. So this is one of the polygons you showed here. So even though you can you can record the polygon coordinate points from the from the, our applications, you can take this information coordinate points and build this polygon here. And then we this is a dummy examples. So how 
how externally it's called how it's built that's the idea that's that's the idea so you, you define your coordinates you define your features and call the open street map uh, like class polygon class and set your coordinates points and then so on so forth how many examples does you need just i i tried to give it to you example how you you hard coded value or you default value or some some demo application use the coordinate point build the open street map use the open street uh, osm like in uh, open layer library and make your application the maps applications how is it efficiently done because this application is really complex and this enterprise application so we try to store the coordinate point into the backend server and then backend server take the backend server the backend server to the geo server and geo server build the services then service call to the our html page that's 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 i that's i mean here the complexity so here is the just simply when you call the just open street map build the coordinates points and that's all that's very simple that's the idea to, to give it to you with some ideas and examples how it's work. So we set it here all the respective coordinate points and then we build our on click events. Then this is showing us the coordinates, latitude, longitude points, let long points and push it to the left turn point into there. And then that's, that's works. And this is the second, second version of the, of the, the your, your, your service, the JavaScript library. And this is the one of the example from the, from the leaflets and then this is the leaflets i believe somehow this is the leaflet application you can you can go to the same thing here you just click it and store it when it's click it and you see the informations you can do just like this way so you get them all informations uh, very cool so when when it, you when you didn't have any server geo server or any 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 data to need to take uh, to, to present into the maps then you can use even though this case you can even do this application and that's enough that's it works this perfectly works you just call it and you build your information and you you build this 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 space and it's a customer need just like it works without any any backend server without any post gis database just you store your 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 data into the into the into the directly into the in the, the page and then you cannot see the information we define it our open street um, uh, deplet and we define our tables what content information we define each of the coordinates belongs to uh, this this content so that's that's the idea so we define our all coordinates points and with definition of the coordinates point. This is the hard coded example, but in our idea, it looked like so we did the data from the database that what we store into the backend server for buildings for floors or our address. We read it, we iterate through this information, build uh, directly to the maps. That's the idea to combine this application. This is the one of the examples how you can go to the hard coded values because this value is coming from the our server applications. So we need the click data, we build these things and put it into the maps. That's the idea. So here is the how how the how the call. You see the our our leaflet uh, JavaScript library call. So it's coming uh, our li library, and this is this is our leaflet library call. So we put it a maps coordinates, and then we put it our call the maps. Uh, I already say we well, show. I already show you that the, the maps class how is map CSS works. In the, into the CSS class, then the width and height, and you can control from here also. And even though uh, you don't define CSS files, map CSS files, there's a map. I think so. This is a map attribute, look at uh, header and footer, uh, uh, width and height, and position, left and top, button, uh, left and top, and then the position is properly how we design it like this way. So this is the CSS, and this is here. see at our, 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 no, this one, not this one. So then we have to hear the, our, this is the page we are calling leaflet2. So we see the our call, class call, and this is our service call where it's located. You see the JavaScript folder, and this is the, 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 the location of the uh, location of this folder. So this is the folders, the JavaScript folders, and the, the file of the leaflet js and the osm js files and we store the coding points and the hidden and footer it's, it's 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 okay and then and if you go to the open state 2 and it's exactly same we are calling our maps uh, header 
we are calling our our javascript library